everybody's having a great morning. Thursday morning. Right? Yeah. Thursday? Yeah. Yes. Thursday morning. Okay. Gotta get my mind straight. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a great Thursday morning. Um, let me get these puppies in and I'll talk to you in a minute. I got these little puppies in. Um, gotta get dressed. I was gonna let y'all know. Let's just say last night I was so exhausted that uh, I was looking at my phone at two o'clock in the morning. Didn't even know. I woke up and I was like, "Why do I have my phone in my hand?" Uh, I accidentally called my daughter, so I sent her a text message telling her, "Sorry, I didn't mean to call you." I mean, when I get exhausted, I'm like, I talk in my sleep. I don't make no sense. I'm looking at my phone. I'm playing with my phone. Sometimes I drop my phone, not even knowing it. So, yeah. So, last night I called my daughter by accident. I think, I don't know, maybe I was just dreaming that I needed to talk to her. I don't know. But I know I was exhausted. And, yeah called her uh watching a movie with my husband didn't happen because i fell asleep i was already done with my um video that i posted last night and um i didn't post it till late because i fell asleep it was like maybe like 8 8 30 my video was done. It was already ready to be uploaded and everything. And I told my husband, I was like, man, this thing's taking forever. You know, why doesn't it want to upload? You know, kept on looking at it. It was like still sitting there. Well, I forgot to push upload. Yeah. So, yeah, it didn't upload. So, anyways, so, yeah, so, yeah. That's my little story that happened last night. Um, exhausted. So, we only have today and tomorrow. So, hopefully today goes by fast. Today and tomorrow. And I can get some... Well, I'll be able to sleep because my husband works this weekend. So, yay! I get to sleep! So, I'm ready for that. So, anyways, on that note... I need to get dressed, get ready for work. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, guys. I want to thank all my subscribers that commented on my video last night. I appreciate y'all looking for that bag for me. I was like so excited because somebody found it for me. But until I get that bag in... I'm gonna use this one's like a little backpack looking thing but it has the little symbol on it so I'm gonna use this little bag just to put my little stuff in because you know how it is at my job what 
the freak are you doing, truck? The truck in front of me is like going to the right on the other side of the lane, then coming back to the left, and then going back to the right, like, like he drunk. But I don't know, maybe he half asleep or something. Anyways, um, I'm gonna use that bag. I don't want to use like a bag that you can't see in because I want everybody to know what I have in my bag because I don't want them to think that I'm taking anything. So, I always got to watch myself because you never know who can be watching, who could be talking, you know, all that. And like the people at my job, yeah, they like to be watching, looking, seeing what you're doing, why are you doing this, why are you doing that, you know what I mean? So... I'm just covering my butt, so I won't have no problems. But anyways, on that note, um, <coughs> the sun is very bright today. I mean, it's making me look a little pretty today, but a little yellow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's making me look a little yellow today. But it's the sun, so don't think it's not... You know, it's my color skin. Anyways, today I'm going to get my walk on. I need it. I mean, I. some people might say I don't need it. But in reality, I need it. I just need a tone up. I need a firm up. And right now, all I can do is the walk in. So I'm going to do the walk in. Um, if there's anywhere where I can like lift anything... I can't lift a certain amount, but if I am able to, like, lift, like, a little box that's, like, five pounds, you know, maybe I'll just lift it and work out my arms or something. Um, I'll probably do that. But other than that, um, that's what I'm going to do today while I'm working. Uh, see how these people are going to act at work. You know, since some of them want to be haters, some of some of them want to be acting like they're stuck up. They don't know uh, if they're coming or going. You know, you know the whole dick. So, so yeah, um, yeah. I'm just gonna mind my own, not even worry about nothing else. Just take care of what I need to take care of. Anyways, I'm sure y'all are tired of listening to this stuff about work, but I mean, it's stuff that happens, you know, to me during the day, so I just like talking about it just to get it off my chest because if I hold it in and then it'll, I'll blow up on somebody and usually it'll be my husband and I don't want that to happen because... My husband don't deserve that. I mean, we talk about the stuff and everything, but if I hold it in too long, sometimes when I'm talking to him nice, you know, just a random talk, sometimes it'll something will just come out out of nowhere, and yeah, he'll get mad, or I'll get mad, or you know, something happens. So yeah, it's better to let it out than keep it in. But I've noticed that my anxiety started to come back a little. Yeah. Uh, all this stuff that's going on, I've noticed that my anxiety's been like, like up and down. Um, and I can tell because whenever I'm laying in bed, I can't really catch a breath. I'm like, like that kind of breathing. I know it's my anxiety like wanting to come but it's like it's right there but it's not like showing its face yet and I don't want it to because once that anxiety sets in everything just falls apart and the last time that happened that my I got so stressed and my anxiety came out I had to take off like three months off of work because that's how bad I was. I was so bad that my anxiety was just through the roof. And 
I don't want that to happen. I'm, I'm trying to keep it, you know, straight away. I'm trying to keep it, my everything leveled out so I won't be so stressed or, you know, I don't want it to be too much. So I'm trying to keep my cool and I'm trying to take my deep breaths, you know, just so I won't get my anxiety, but it's there. It just hasn't showed its face yet. I feel it, but I don't want it to come out. So I'm trying to keep my cool. So cross my fingers. Hopefully this little guy doesn't show its face. And it stays in because that's something that happened. I got so depressed. I got so stressed. I got anxiety was through the roof. Um, doctor was telling me, you know, you can't go back to work if it's going to be like this. So they moved me to a different department. Then they moved me to another department. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's overwhelming sometimes. So I'm going to try to keep my cool. And maybe talking to y'all, maybe it'll help me a little bit. So um, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'm going to keep my eyes on the road. I got it on. I got it on. Don't yell. Don't yell. Please don't yell. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to go for my walk. But before I go for my walk, I'm running to the cafeteria that they have here at work. Dang, look at that. My veins are all popping out and crap. Look at that. I have one that goes right here all the time. It, like pops out like big old monster veins. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, <clears throat> I have to come and get my tea. I have to refill my cup. Just so I won't have to go in a little while. And uh, this morning I was in a rush to refill my cup. So, um, so I'm running over here to do it real quick. And I'm glad that they have the tea that I like um, on the machine and I don't have to go to the store anymore. So that is a huge plus for me. So anyways, oh, I put everything inside that little bag that I showed y'all. Uh, it's like a little backpack looking thing. I don't know, it's just a little bag. Anyways, everything fit but snug. Everything got put in there snuggly yeah <laughs> i would just say snuggly because that's how it fit i mean i can move things around you know but there is not no elbow room so that being said this little backpack will probably work for a little while until it rips like the other one Hopefully not, but if that happens, I am definitely going to go get my bag. Um, I need to order it online. They don't have it in the store, so um, I have to actually order it online. But, oh, sorry guys. I was all up in your face, huh? Let me grab a dollar. So I can refill my little cup of. Okay, guys. Well, I made it back in time. So I can maybe do... Maybe one lap. Maybe. If I'm lucky. Depends on how fast I walk. Um, Yeah, probably about one. But we'll see. Anyways... You know that lady, she's like highway robbery there at the cafeteria. It's like one week she'll tell you, okay, it's for a refill on my big cup like that. She usually charges me one week or one day she'll tell me a dollar twenty-five. The next day she'll tell me a dollar fifty. But if I go to the store they'll just charge me a dollar seven so yeah she's like making up her prices 
Well, I guess you can do that, you know, since it's your cafeteria. But, yeah. <clears throat> That's, I guess, you know, if you don't want to pay the little extra, um, the little extra miles to drive to the store and pay for a dollar seven. I mean, I guess it equals up because, you know, your, your gas mileage and, you know, you know. So I guess it equals out. Oh, well, at least I don't have to drive, you know, far to get a refill. I can just go right there and get a refill. You know, the thing that if you go to the administration building and you go upstairs, kind of funny. They get a free machine in there. It's like they can go get tea whenever they want. And not have to pay for it. I should have just went over there. Just kidding, just kidding. I don't want to get in trouble for that. <laughs> I'll probably get caught. I mean, if I go to... If I'm going over there to a meeting or to orientation or, you know training or something then I you know I imagine I can get a free drink but if I'm not over there for either one of those then I can't get a free drink so yeah I don't care either way I'm getting my drink and that's it and it's a tea so at least I'm not drinking coke that's a plus but anyways um I guess, uh, so far, since I've been here this morning, I guess everything's been alright. Um, you know, still getting them looks. What you doing? Why you doing this? Why you doing that? But, oh well. They can kiss my butt. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of stressing over all this petty shit around here. Oh, sorry, excuse my language. Um, petty stuff around here. So, yeah. I'm tired whenever my eye twitches. I'm tired, you know, having to listen to all the BS around here. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna ignore it all. I'm just gonna act like I don't... I'm just gonna ignore it. Act like it's not even relevant to me anymore. Just do what I gotta do and that's it. Because I don't need the anxiety. I don't need the eye twitching. I don't need the stress. I definitely don't need the ulcers. Ulcers. However you say it. You know what I'm trying to say. So yeah. I definitely don't need that. So I'm just gonna stare steer clear away from all of that and uh look at my jacket <laughs> anyways um outfit of the day i hope you can see it see these pants are like uh high-waisted like so they go more high than uh my waist I don't really wear pants like that. I usually wear jeans that are like low waisted. I'm usually used to them like trying to fall off. But these jeans right here, they're high waisted. So I'm not used to them. That they're so high. I'm like uh, tugging at them sometimes. Because I'm like, okay, why are they so high? But that's how they are. That's the kind of jean they are. They're, um, what kind of jeans are these? Rocky Rivals or something like that. I actually got two pairs of these pants. And they both fit the, about the same. They both look about the same, but just different patterns in the pockets in the back. Um, but they're comfortable. Um, well, these and my Miss Me, Miss Me jeans are comfortable. So, yeah. They're both comfortable. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that's my outfit of the day. So right now, it's pretty much chill. Um, oh, 
dentures. Let's talk about that. Uh, I got some ooze coming out in the back. And I didn't even put that much on. I don't understand how, you know, the ooze comes out. If I even show you on the morning, you know, I do it with a Q-tip, make a little fine line on there because I hate getting it on my fingers. Um, but I put a little fine line on there so it won't be so thick, right? Well, when I put them on, everything's fine. No ooze, no nothing. But once I start eating, yeah, once I start eating, it starts pushing it out. And instead of pushing it front, it pushes it back. And that ooze starts coming out in the back. So I always have to get like a paper towel or um, we have these rags here at work that they give, that, you know, that they send us in a box. So I'll get a rag and I'll just wipe the, I'll get it wet and I'll wipe the back of it and try to get it out. But it's nasty. I don't like it. Um, and another thing is like in the front, I don't put that much in the front either. And that ooze just comes out too in the front and it, and i'm like okay but i put the fixident and i put the powder together so i'm thinking okay if i put both of them the ooze ain't gonna come out yeah right the ooze still comes out i don't understand why why does the ooze come out? Can anybody tell me why the ooze comes out even if I put a little bit? I mean, let me know in the comments. So, cause like, I put the thin layer of the fixant, right? And then I put some of the powder and I dust off the, you know, I take off the access, you know, I hit my denture on the side a little to get the access off of the powder. And then, uh, let me see. Let me turn it on. Um, anyways, I take the access off and then I um, get it wet. The way, you know, y'all, you know, some of y'all subscribers told me, you know, put a little bit, uh, you know, a little spritz, like a mist it a little and get it wet. So I did that. And I don't know. The ooze still starts coming out. It's weird. And I'm like, okay, did I do something wrong? Did I miss a step? Should I not put the the powder on? Or should I try it without the fixant and just the powder? Or I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what I should do. Or should I just do something totally different? I mean, uh, some, some days I know I put the little dots, three little dots, two in the back and one in the middle, in the front. But they're not even big dots. They're like real little bitty dots where it won't even cause like any ooze to come out. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so other than that, yeah. And I always have, every time that I put my dentures in, um, I hear something like inside the bushes right there. Like, you know, when somebody's like stepping on the leaves you know how it makes like a <laughs> like that kind of noise where it sounded like somebody was stepping on the branches i don't know kind of scary anyways um so yeah anyways let's not think about that so yeah um i forgot what i was talking about so i guess uh oh i know what i was talking about 
every day I put my dentures in my mouth and I always talk funny every day it's like it, it never ends it's like every day I have I have a it's like I have a speech problem because I can't talk right and it makes me feel bad because you know I'm talking to somebody and like I'm talking to y'all and I'm trying to tell you know talk to y'all and tell y'all stuff and trying to say it right and I feel like oh my god I can't say this word or uh the word ain't coming out right or I have to say like three times just so I can get the word out and yes I do erase some of them words because you know I don't want y'all to see me struggling trying to say words but I mean I'm trying you know to get the words out but it's like an everyday thing my I can't a lot of words I can can't say Ooh, did y'all see that a bug almost ate me ah. anyways uh, I don't know what it was it was a black bug Oh, he messed up my hair. Anyways, uh, so I don't know. I'm just like so frustrated trying to talk and no words. The words just don't come out right. They're just like jumbled up or like my tongue doesn't like it gets stuck on the denture. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about let me know in the comments or let me know what y'all do to help that out and then another thing uh, the way my denture is actually coming apart the relines coming apart from my denture yeah I freaked out yesterday oh I'm chewing gum today See, I don't feel bad. I'm actually chewing it pretty good, which is cool. So, and they're not getting stuck to my denture or nothing. So, I think I found a gum that is good for me. And the gum helps where I won't have to be snacking all day long. And it did help yesterday. I did not snack. I didn't even think about snacking yesterday. Well, up until I got home, but that was like my supper. But I, uh, a friend of mine posted this thing on Facebook and it had like a 30 day challenge, no bread, no fast food, no uh, sweets, no junk food, no, you know, I had a lot of stuff. And uh, well, I asked my sisters and my, and my daughter, well, two of my daughters, if they want to try it. One of my daughters is like, yeah, I'll, I'll try it with you. And then later on, I guess later on that day, I didn't see it, but I saw it this morning. She posted, she was like, I'll start next Tuesday. Seriously? She had already messed up, I guess. The way I see it, she had already messed up and she's like, okay, we'll start again next Tuesday. I'm like, no girl, we have to do this once, you know, just for the month, not, okay, let's skip a week and try it again. But yeah. So anyways. Alright. Well, that's enough of me blabbing here and there. Uh I'll come back on here in a little bit. I already have to go back to work. Uh everybody's probably back at work, but except for me, because I wanted to do I did two laps, so I did two laps and now I'm good to go. And well, I'm gonna walk inside the warehouse, so y'all know the drill. So I'll be back. Do y'all see that? It's like everything's like, like this way. Like, see my nose? 
and it goes that way. Like that. See? This way. I think everything's pulling that way. Do y'all see that? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Anyways, gotta tell you. I went for the walk. I walked two times around, right? I'm sleepy. How in the world am I sleeping? Like, why? How can I be sleepy? That's weird, right? Anyways, um, I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. I feel like I can't breathe. Like something's pushing on my chest. Um, the gums frustrated me because I don't know if I told y'all before. I think I did in another video, in another video that the the bad part of my denture right here. It's like something, something's pinching me, and uh, I don't know what it is or why it's like that. And every time I chew my gum, like I'm over here going like this, I can feel it pinch right here. But I haven't felt that in a couple of days, and then now I'm feeling it again. I don't have anything in there, like no like my skin or anything to make it pinch so i don't understand why it's doing that it's kind of weird um i still have gunk coming out of the back a little bit coming out the front i guess it's just trial and error <sighs> i'm just frustrated with these teeth already Can I get on um, disability since I don't have teeth? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> oh, that was that was a good one, right? <laughs> so yeah. Um. Anyways, um, the bottom teeth. I haven't had no problems. Knock on wood. Um. This one hasn't been hurting, but I've been taking ibuprofen, so which is a good thing. Um, I did want to show y'all one thing, and it, um, what I'm going to show you, it gets worse in the afternoons. But when I get home in the afternoons, oh look, you can see it now. Look at how swollen my feet get, my ankles. Right there, see it? Look how, and it's tight. I don't know why it gets swollen like this. And when I get home in the afternoons, it is worse than that. Like, three times worse than that. I don't understand why it gets so swollen. It's just crazy. But anyways, I, I've been wanting to show you all that because uh, I'm kind of concerned about it. And see, my hands swollen again too. So, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I'm just breaking down. I'm just done. I don't know. Maybe the stress here at work. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the case may be. But I'm just I'm just so frustrated, you know? Because it's like one thing after another, you know? Okay, everything will be going good. And then all of a sudden something happens. And then everything will be going good. And then something else happens. And therefore, I'm just so frustrated. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. So guys, I hope you can see me. Um, because of the lighting. But I don't know what it is. But today, I feel like my anxiety is coming out. Um, oh, there I am. Here I am. Um, like, my breathing is like... I don't know how to explain. Like, I can't take a deep breath and 
It's like when I breathe in, it's like hard to breathe in. I don't know if anybody that has anxiety can relate to what I'm saying. It's just, I'm just not feeling it right now. It's like when I go like that, it feels like sometimes I can't do that. Like, I can't take that whole deep breath. Like, I can only do a half a breath, and then I have to like, oh. You know, or like if I take a breath, it's like, like that. Like, you know, when you're crying so much and like, yeah, like when you're crying so much and you're trying to take a deep breath or take trying to take a breath and you're like, you know, trying to catch your breath. Yeah, that's how my anxiety starts. And I feel like it's just coming. I, I feel it. And I'm trying so hard. For my anxiety not to come out. And I guess sometimes you just can't help it. You just can't help your, you know, your, um, you can't help for things happening in your body. Because you already know, you're already used to it and everything. So it's like, you can't help it. Like. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, if my anxiety is going to come out, it's going to come out. There ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. And I feel like it's coming. I feel it. And I just don't know what to do. It's like, it's like when you hyperventilate and you can't take your breath. Like, you can't take a deep breath. That's how I get sometimes. And um, I get like that. And I get to the point like when my anxiety is so bad. Um, I'm trying not to get the warehouse boxes in there. Um, like, oh, did y'all hear my knee pop? Wow. Like... My anxiety is so bad sometimes that I everything starts tensing up like this. Like, everything tightens up and I can't move and I'm just like, you know, just stuck. Like, I can't move. That's how bad it gets. Like, I have to be taken to the hospital to actually get medicine to calm it down to make it go away you understand what i'm saying like sometimes there ain't no if ands or buts around it it when it happens it happens and it just goes it just like everything just comes out with it so yeah and and right now i'm trying my best not to let that happen i really don't want that to happen right now but i mean I guess you just have to take it one day at a time. And I'm trying to control it. But, hey, it's kind of hard to do it while you're working out here in this piece of crap place. So, yeah. But anyways, just wanted to talk to you about that for a minute. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to talk to you about. Like, saying, like, if you think it's right, let me know. If you think it's wrong, let me know. This, You know, either way, let me know in the comments if this is right or if it's not right. Okay? Um, certain time, you go and you get your lunch, right? Okay. It's not lunchtime yet, but you go get your lunch. You take almost... Maybe 30 minutes. 15 to 30 minutes in between there to go get your lunch. Okay? Okay. That's just to go get your lunch. Your lunch you haven't even had your lunch yet. But that's to go get your lunch. Okay. You come back. You work a little bit. 12 o'clock comes. And you take your lunch, your actual lunch, your whole hour of lunch. 
Do you think that that's right? Or do you think that the person should do that on their lunch break? I'm just wondering because I know if it was me, somebody would be talking crap right now. Somebody would be saying, why is she doing that and we can't do that? Why can she do that and we can't do that? I mean, like, I do stuff, like if I go to the store or if I need to go to the cafeteria, you know, whatsoever, you know, whatever. I ask. And when I ask, it's either my lunch break, my break, or my afternoon break. So, I'm covered. But when you go and say, I'm going to go get my lunch. And then you take almost 30 minutes, 15, 30 minutes in between there. Um, and then come back. And then actually at 12 o'clock, you take a whole hour lunch. And then some. Do you think it's right? Let me know in the comments. I just, I don't know. I'm just curious. I'm just curious of what y'all, or, or let me know if that's something that people should do. I mean, when they're at a job. To me, I think that you're just kissing butt and you can do whatever you want since you're kissing somebody's butt. Or you're like the, we're not at school, but like a teacher's pet, like a boss's pet or whatever. You know, you're connected to their nutsack, nutsack. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. But, you know, one of those words. Anyways, yeah. I, I don't know. If it was me, I know they would be talking crap. And they would be telling me, why do you get to do this? Not me. But yet, they can take a whole hour, two hours for lunch. Uh, in the morning, they could take an hour to an hour and a half before they start working. And... Each break, they take at least 30 minutes to an hour on their breaks. So you don't even have a full day's work because you rather take your breaks and just sit there and not do nothing. So, I don't know. I think it's just, I think they have things, people have their priorities screwed up. People, uh, bosses need to learn how to be a boss and tell people when they need to work. But... I mean, it's crazy out here. But I'm going to walk right now. I'm going to walk inside the warehouse just so I won't get burnt on my neck. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit because I don't want to record in here. So I'll be back. So I get out of work. You know what? Thank God. Thank you, God. There wasn't no construction when we got off the bridge. I was like, oh, my God. I got home within... 15 minutes. Thank goodness. Give me the $90. So, I mean, see, that's how it's supposed to be whenever you get home. Uh, one of the ladies from work, uh, she, I heard her talking about yesterday whenever she was going home. She said she left about 5, 4.30 or 5.30 or something like that from work. And they had the construction going on yesterday. Get off. She didn't actually get home until 8.30 last night. I was like, what? I go, are you serious? She goes, yeah. She said we were in line that long for uh, to get home. Like, everybody was in line. Everybody was honking. She said that people were getting out of line, turning, you know, turning around, I guess, um, to go the other way. Because there is another way that you can go. But it's like a big old, you have to go all the way around, you know. It's like, the way we come, it's going to take 15 minutes to get home. But if you go the opposite way, it's like going north and then you have to go, you know, through this other, you have to go through the two towns before you can get home. So, I mean, it's either, okay, wait in line. And hopefully you get through sometime, you know, within so much minutes. Or go around. I'm thinking that if I ever if I ever have to work late and I know that the construction's going on, I'm taking my happy ass around. 
As long as I have gas, I'll go around. I'll take that extra mile to go around instead of waiting in line. Because that's ridiculous. Eight o'clock? Really? She gets off 530. She gets to that line. And she said eight. Oh my God. That's ridiculous. I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed if I had to wait. I mean, I know when I got off the bridge, it had just started. The traffic had just started. I got off the bridge, and you can see behind me that the cars were already coming. That's ridiculous. Oh, I do have a special guest today. Uh, he's making a special appearance today. Do you want to see him? You, 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 you. Yeah? Do you want to see him? Okay. Here he is, Mr. Gandalf. He's freaking out because he's inside the car. He doesn't really go in the car. They're like home dogs. Oh, watch it, Gandalf. He hit his head. They're like dogs for the house. They don't go nowhere. They don't, they stay in the house. They don't do anything but stay in the house. Let's see how he acts with the lady right there. She's just looking at him. <laughs> Say hi, G. Surprise. Oh, he growled. I didn't know if he was going to growl or if he was going to bark or what. There was a lady on the other side of us and he was sitting on my lap. And he started going off on that lady. I don't know why. He just started barking and like barking and barking. And I was like, are you okay? But this lady that just got out of the truck right here, she gets out of the truck and he just growled. Well, that's kind of weird. Well, maybe... You hit your head again, G. Well, maybe because she had like a little girl with them. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why he was barking at him. Maybe that's the reason. But I don't know. Um, anyways. So, yeah. Um, oh, look. There's dad. Look. There's dad. <gasps> Who's that? Hold on. Hold what are you on. doing, Double G? Where's Dad? <coughs> oh. Come on, baby. Why you get excited? Oh, Double G, I love you. Oh, see, he loves our puppies. Hey, guys. Well, we came over here to Victoria. Yes, we always have to come to a different town to uh, get stuff that we need that we can't get in our town because pretty much they don't have stuff that we need in our town so you know you know how that goes you have to go to a different store you have to take drastic measures and go somewhere else just to get what you need yeah anyways um, my husband needs to get something, I don't remember, oh, some hooks, because he's making me my pot, my pot rack, and, um, anyways, uh, I was looking for, a, like, a little spray bottle, but, they only have a freaking monster spray bottle, look at that, look at that big old spray bottle right there. Those two spray bottles. I don't need a spray bottle that big. I mean, are you kidding me? And then they have these spray bottles right here for three twenty-eight. Uh, no, this one for five ninety-eight. Are you freaking kidding me? Why am I gonna get something that is that expensive? Like. I don't need nothing that expensive, but I don't need nothing that big. I just need, like, something little, just a little squirt here and there, and that's it. I don't need nothing that big. But you know how it is. You never can find stuff that you need. You always find stuff that is too big or too small. You never can find something that's just right no that never happens never never in your life but anyways hey guys um 
Well, I'm back again. This is a new position of my camera. I don't know if it looks all right. Yes, no. Um, I'm just trying it out for right now to see if I'm going to like it or if I'm not going to like it or, you know, just trying it out for right now. Um, let me know in the comments below if this is a good position for my um for my camera to be facing towards me um if not we can move it around <laughs> okay what i did is i went down a little bit and um uh, yeah i think right here is better than up a little bit anyways so, um, me and the hubby ran to Victoria, did a couple of things, got a couple of things, and as of right now, let's get these little puppies out, because they're ready to come out. I'm ready to go to bed. I need to finish editing your this video so I can put it out for y'all in just a minute. And, hmm, I think that's it. So, with further ado, let's get these little puppies out. This weekend, I am going to do the reline on my dentures. I am going to do it. Um, I'm going to see if they come out right. Hopefully, they do. Because, yeah. Oh, because this one's coming apart. Look at that. Can you hear it? Can you hear that? It's like squishiness. I don't want to mess with it right now because I don't want it to mess up and then I'm not going to be able to wear them to work tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like this for right now. And then tomorrow I'll take care of it tomorrow night. So, so for right now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to mess it up. So, yeah. Cannot believe that it's coming apart. Anyways, um, so guys, um, Okay guys, well, that is the end of my video. I hope y'all liked my video. I hope y'all enjoyed spending the day with me today. Uh, I really enjoyed vlogging for y'all. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And until my next video, bye-bye.